Okay, we are live. Let's just refresh my tablet here so I can see what is going on. That's fine with me. Must be here somewhere. Oh no. Try again. Let my tablet catch it up. Here we go. That's better. And Jo is finally here. Oh, Yay! So she's got the... Um... How are you doing, Jo? There's prizes to claim. So in your pack, in the white envelope with the card in it, is your raffle tickets. Hi, Sally. Um, so find your raffle tickets out because there's two prizes unclaimed at the moment and they might one of them might be yours. And um, they are that one and that one. Yeah. So we've got... Um, 335 and 309 I know they're backwards but 335 and 309 if either of those are yours tell me because um, I haven't put names on those yet um, all my other raffle prizes are 309 Joe's is 309 wicked so you have got I don't know if you can see that it's, it's glittered you can just see it glittered organdy ribbon Ooh. Carolyn, we are back. Elaine and I are ready to go, but still have inked fingers. <laughs> are they as bad as mum's? Mum, I've never seen mum make a card without getting covered in ink. She's always got inky fingers, so do not worry. Yeah, Joe. so that's yours, the glittered organdy ribbon. Um, well I'll put it to one side and we'll give it to you in Devon. Cool. So I've still got 335 unclaimed. If anybody um, has found a raffle ticket who's joining this afternoon, Who's 335, you have got some linen thread to claim. Okay. More prizes to come. Do not worry. More prizes to come. Fab. So has everybody had a nice lunch? Anybody else apart from me have um, um, mince pie? Or is it just me doing Christmas here? <laughs> Full on Christmas in my Christmas jumper and my mince pie. <laughs> I think they're quite lucky I haven't got the tree out and the decorations and stuff yet, really. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, hopefully you're all refreshed. We will hang on while people join. Um, and if you have finished any projects this afternoon or today, um, I'll put a post on at the end of the afternoon as well so that you can share photos of any projects that you've made. And if you make them up later on, um, do, do feel free to share them, you know, at another time in the same post. Oh, so Jodie's saying, Amber and Evelyn's cards are lovely, so creative. Yes, thank you for reminding me, Jodie. Um, yeah, they are, aren't they? Really lovely. Um, so in the breaks, um, on Facebook, here in the Facebook page, when we finish this afternoon, um, or later on in the week or whatever, if you scroll back, if you click onto the actual page, um, so go away from your own page and look actually into my page and scroll back through the post. You'll find the recordings of this morning's session and this session. Um, and you'll also find um, the posts which has got all of Amber's beautiful cards in there. Um, and she made cards using the Painted Christmas Suite, which is this one. So she made cards using this lovely painted Christmas suite um, and then Evelyn and I um, but mostly Evelyn to be fair um, made lovely cards using the penguin suite because penguins are her thing because her swimming club's called the penguins so hi D, hi Carol yeah. um, so that she's she's got that whole suite um, so she she made yeah penguin cards using the, the penguin punch and the penguin stamps and some papers and what have you. So, um, yeah, if you get a chance after this, then scroll back and you'll find um, lots of extra ideas. And, um, yeah, they are lovely, Josie, I agree. They are really lovely. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Okay, lovely. Everybody's clicking on and joining us. This is fabulous. Good, good, good. So this afternoon, you should have one more pack. If you've been with me all the way through today, you should have one more pack left. And the last pack is um, gingerbread and peppermint. So the last pack is this sweet. Da, da, da. 
um, which has got like little imitation gingerbread biscuits and it's proper traditional Christmas oh, colours. Really it's sure. red and green and gold and sparkly and lovely, lovely. Um, these, you see those, those are the papers we're going to be using this afternoon and the colours that go with that. So that's the suite that we're going to be focusing on this afternoon. We've got three projects to make. Um, there it's cards, three cards. Um, and I'm going to show you throughout this afternoon some ways where you can make a whole stack of really quick Christmas cards, but they're still homemade. They still have your own imprint on them and they're still really lovely um, in the Stampin' Up! style. Um, or cards that you can make yourself from scratch because this suite comes with um, a stamp set and dies as well. So that's the stamp set that it comes with. I know the writing's backwards and I will show you under the camera when I put it down later. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see that one on the bottom there, you've also got a die set. And the die set, that's not in focus, there we go. That's better. So the die set cuts out um, the bells and the stars and um, the little cookie shapes, um, uh, baubles, you've got all kinds of things that the die set cuts out, um, as well as it does borders and it does lots of little individual things so you can make up little peppermint sweets and things like that. Um, and there's another, there's a second die set that goes with it as well that makes little pillow boxes too. So it's got loads to it, absolutely loads to it, um, this set. Um, so yeah, so, so a, a really nice suite and we are going to make three cards from it and then we are going to have some more raffle prizes and um, yeah, then we'll have a kind of wrap up of the day and see how everyone's got on, okay? So let's start with me turning the camera around and putting it down so that you can see the cards that we're going to make. So let's just camera to turn around there we go there, here are my helpers who are still with us <laughs> there we go so these are the cards that we're going to make a little bit of extra light on the scene couldn't get too much but hopefully that will help a bit this afternoon as well as it's starting to get a bit darker so we've got three cards um, one card, let's start with this one. This card is made um, using um, a normal card base, you know, that I've cut out of a sheet of A4 and layered papers and white card. Show you that white card doesn't have to just be for stamping as well. Um, and then some bells cut out. And then these two cards are made using the cards and envelope packs that are in the catalogue. So these are pre scored pre-printed um, envelopes and cards um, that you've got in your pack so we've got two to make using those the pre-made cards um, and uh, one to make using doing it from scratch now um, three cards three designs but you'll see um, I don't know if Amber's with us yet or not thank you Sally um, don't know if Amber's with us yet or not but there is fussy cutting to do I'm sure she'll have something to say about that anyway um, like I said, if you buy this suite, the dies um, cut out these shapes from the paper as well as cutting out the stamped images. So these, all these are fussy cut shapes out of your papers and the little peppermints as well. And these little peppermints, you can interchange any of these shapes. So you have got some um, little strips of paper that have got stars and muff, uh, mittens and all kinds of things um, on them and you can cut out whichever ones you want to ah oh, amber's here there's a funny face there you go um so if you don't don't like the bells don't put the bells on choose the stars instead or something you know you can mix it up and, and choose whatever you want um so completely up to you um yeah, so you've also got the red gems from this morning that I've scattered a couple around. Um, so hopefully you've saved those and put them somewhere safe, if you know what I mean, um, so that you've got those to use as well. And then we've also got some um, bunny ears bows to tie as well to make the ribbon on our mittens. OK, so let me get all the cards out of the way for a moment. I'm just going to show you. So this is the page, um, it's from the um, mini catalogue, again the June to December, July to December mini, page 8, 9 and 10, so you've got three pages of this suite, 
um, if you've got your catalogue out to give you other ideas. Um, the elements that we're using, particularly the papers, obviously, it's only four colours as well and nice easy colours that whether you've got Stampin' Up! colours or not, you probably all have something similar. So we've got Real Red, Old Olive, Early Espresso and Cinnamon Cider. Um, the um, colour, one of the colour bases for these, so the background to these papers and things is craft craft colour cards. So if you've got craft cards in your stash, you'll be able to make extra ones using that as well. Um, these are the cards and envelopes. So hopefully you can see those that are on page nine. Um, so this is the way to make quick and easy Christmas cards. So you buy these cards and envelopes and then this set that's next door to it which is the um, Memories and More card pack. So we've got the cards and envelopes, which you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes, and they're already scored, so you just fold them over. And those are for 20, £9.25 for 20 cards. So what's that, 50p a card? Something like that, isn't it? Less than 50p a card base. Um, and then you've got the Memories and More card pack here, which you can use as toppers for these cards to make your own. There's also sets of stickers in there as well. And you've got shapes that you can cut out as well. Um, so shapes that you would have in the in the papers as well. So you can make your own using those as well. You've got 60 double sided cards in there. Um, and that's £10.25. But on top of the £6.60 double sided cards, you've also got four sticker sheets mm -hmm. and four laser cut specialty cards, mm -hmm. which is, mm -hmm. you can't see these very well, but they're sort of yeah, like little baking like trays, about, yeah. like little mini baking um, trays, the foil stop. sheets, um, that you can then really make an image is. that looks like cookies on a baking tray. Okay? So if you're looking for quick and easy Christmas card makes this year, that pack of the um, cards and envelopes alongside the uh, Memories and More cards is the way to go, definitely. Because um, it's just so quick and easy to, to make cards and yet they're still homemade and everything. If you want to add a bit more embellishment to them, you've got the ruffled, ruffled um, ribbon that goes with it as well. Or you've got these, which are acrylic shapes. You get 120 acrylic shapes in the pack. And they are little swirls and curls and little um, peppermint swirls, um, kind of like things that you'd put, you'd, you'd make icing sort of shapes for your tops or your biscuits, that kind of thing. So as well as just plain um, dots that you can add on. So if you want to embellish a bit more, make it a bit more personalised, then you can um, add some of those as well. So there you go. That's my top tip for a quick, quick Christmas make. OK, let's get on with some making then. Let's get on with some cards. Let's start with this one, shall we? So you're going to need for this one, you're going to need your card base, which is the cinnamon cider brown card base. So you need to fold that one and crease it using your bone folder. Okay. So that's the first thing to do. And then out of your packs of your full sheets of paper so nobody starts cutting into sheets that they might want to use for for the bells and the stars and things so out of your full sheets of paper you need a background i've used it, it i think it's meant to be like an icing kind of design like a gingerbread um house. yeah like like a gingerbread house that's right evelyn you've got it yeah like a gingerbread house kind of design um in icing that's the one that i put underneath and you're also going to need um, a white layer as well. Yeah, that's it. Um, so it's the one with this, it's the zigzag one. It's not that one actually, ma'am, but it might be. Zigzag one? If you haven't got a zigzag one, I think. Oh no. Is that the white? That'll be all right. Either, yeah. Is that the white layer? Yes. You'll need to cut your white layer, so I will give you the measurements in a moment. So first things first, just fold and um, and crease your cinnamon cider card base, okay? 
and then I will give you measurements for your background layers. So you are going to need 12. So your, your first, um, your background layer, which is the this gingerbread layer, as Evelyn's described it, um, might have zigzags on it or you might have one like mum's using the one with the kind of curly pattern on it so you might have different patterns but one one of these cinnamon cider background papers anyway um, that measures eight uh, sorry 12 centimeters by eight and a half centimeters so 12 centimeters by eight and a half just remember, if you are using the zigzag one, you need to know which way you want it to go up before you start cutting. Do you want it that way? Okay, so my card yeah, is a tent that, fold. Like so, but you, I mean, you could have it that way around if you wanted to, but mine's a tent fold. So, um, 12 by 8.5 centimetres. So, yeah. so, 12 is along the top. So, that's that way. Yeah, that's it. So that's 12, what you're measuring there. Evelyn's got mum slaving for her. Mum's doing all the cutting. Evelyn's chilling. 12 by what? <laughs> 12 by 8 and a half. Shall I write down the measurements as we go along as well? So it is 12 centimetres by 8 oops, and a half centimetres. And that's for the... This is for the patterned paper layer, DSP layer. Okay. And then for the white layers, I'll measure those as well. Actually, I know what that one. So it'll be 12 and a half by 9 centimetres will be one layer. And then your layer to stamp on is 5 by 9 and a half. Okay, so let's just recap. You need a patterned paper layer that is either the zigzags or the curly, um, this kind of curly pattern or something that's cinnamon cider background. And that layer needs to be 12 centimetres by eight and a half centimetres. You then need two white layers and your two white layers are 12 and a half centimetres by nine centimetres and five centimetres by nine and a half centimetres. Okay. Twelve. And you don't need any more white after this card, so you can use up all the rest of your white if you need to. Twelve and a half by so nine. So twelve and a half by nine is your matte layer, and five by nine and a half is your um, sentiment layer. Hmm? Five by nine and a half, sorry, is your sentiment there. Did I say 12? Nine. It's what I've written down here anyway. Oh, right. And this is a nice, easy after lunch one as well um, to get us off to an easy start. It's just lots and lots of layering up all flat until you come to for me it's the bells but whichever whatever you decide you want to put on the top of your card you are open thank you actually fits left very hard okay Is it everybody crafting along this afternoon? Or have we got some watchers as well? Yeah. Now she's complaining about my kit. Perhaps you could bring your own scissors down. <laughs> Okay. I probably need some more snips anyway. Chris says no. No what? 
He's not crafting. No, he's not crafting. <laughs> well, the, now's the time to get him fussy cutting, Amber. Give him all your all your stars and your mittens and everything and get him to cut them all out for you. Get him working, Amber. So you should now have your, your card base folded and creased. You should have um, a piece of patterned paper cut out that's 12 by eight and a half, a matte layer for that piece of paper that's 12 and a half by nine, and um, a white layer for your sentiment that is five by nine and a half. Okay? No, he's not crafting, he's going to wantage. Fair enough, don't blame him. Okay, so first things first, Stick your patterned paper to your white matte layer. I went to town here at lunchtime, I found a knife. If you start off on a bit that's already sticky... Oh, hang on a minute. This is Mum's top tip for using <laughs> seal. Hold on. Let's just... Let's just go around a bit here. Can I move it around? There we go. Go on. Right. You know sometimes it doesn't quite start off, but if you start off on a bit that's already sticky... Yeah. That pulls the bit that it didn't and, and it never fails. Oh, as there you go. As I can this is see. so you don't need to wind it on with your finger, isn't That's it? it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. So start start the next time you use it, start on a bit that's already sticky and then it will do its own thing. There we go. Mm, it didn't fail at all this morning. Oh That's brilliant. Right. That's good then. Did it wrong? Did it wrong? How have you done it wrong? That's all right. Oh I see you've just got it a bit too close to the edge. That's all right. It stopped. See. Well, so what we'll do is, um, do you want to cut another piece of white? And we'll stick it on another piece. Mm, okay, so cutting. this is how to fix it. If you've, if you've, so if you see what Evelyn's done, she's just stuck her patterned paper a bit too close to the edge and not left enough border around the outside. So twelve and a half by nine. So all I'm going to do is cut off the uneven border and mm -hmm. stick it on a new piece again. Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm showing you and I haven't got the camera actually on my hand so that is really no use is it right so let me show you again Evelyn had stuck her piece of pattern paper just a little bit too close to the border okay so all I'm doing is I'm going to trim off this is how to rectify things like this you just trim it off and stick it on another bit of white card so essentially you're just starting again with it not wasting the patterned paper there you go, now you can stick that piece on a new piece of white card and it will be absolutely fine. The trick is to kind of hover it over the top before you stick it down and make yeah, sure you've got the I same amount of border the... all the way around the edge. So you've got um, a quarter of a centimetre border on each side, essentially. There we go. Can we have a look? So there you go. She's rectified it, stuck it onto a new piece, and it's good as new. No problem at all. There we go. Okay, so Just once... a bit more 3D. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Once you've got that patterned paper layer stuck on your white mat, you can then stick that to the card base. And again, make sure you've got the same border all the way around the edge of the card front. And if you're not sure about getting it positioned right, use some wet glue in the middle to slide it around before you completely stick it down. Okay, next comes your stamping. So your second piece of white that you cut out, um, you need to stamp on. Kez is saying her battery's just about to die, so she'll have to leave it here. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you, Kez. We'll let you know if you win another prize. Well, hopefully you'll give, give your, um, text your um, raffle ticket numbers to Jodie or somebody or Amber so that we can um, make sure you don't miss out on any prizes. So yeah, so you're you're sticking your your stamping, sorry, your um, sentiment 
in the corner of um, your white card. So bottom right hand corner, because you're going to cover some of the rest of it up with your whatever you're going to, whatever you cut out, bells or whatever. Oh, I haven't got any ink out. It's very realistic, mate. Right. Well, we need cinnamon cider ink. Cinnamon cider, which is another one of the new in colours for these burnt. cards. For this what card, anyway. Brown one we have. Was it burnt something? Uh, yeah, we did have a burnt something, didn't we? I used that the other night, and it seemed to work alright. Okay, so oh, um, Evelyn's well, using the. Um, here no, we go. Yeah, them. that's. Um, she yeah, has, but it doesn't matter. The bells the so Evelyn, Evelyn stamped hers on the bottom left instead of the bottom right, but it doesn't matter because she can just put her her bells on the other side. Oh, Evelyn, you're being really helpful this afternoon because all it's great to be able to show people when things go wrong what you do about it. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There we go. So that's all fine. So Evelyn's used the perfectly plaid again, the, the set with the, with the Christmas trees. Here we go. Um, so she's used the Merry Christmas, same as me, from the perfectly plaid. You need a reasonable size sentiment, I think, for this card, because it's quite a focal point of the card. You need quite, not a small one is what you need for this, I think, really. Anyway, once you've stamped your sentiment, again, you can stick it flat down in the middle of your patterned paper. And then last of all, you're going to add your either your bells or your stars or your whatever image you're going to put on the top. Oh, it didn't. I moved it. I thought it would have smudged it, but it didn't. How do you do that? Okay, so when you get come on to sticking your, well, for me, the bells, I've put my bells on 3D pads. Can you see there? Just lift them up so you can see underneath, hopefully. Oh, bit of a gap there um so i've literally just um put some 3d pads on the back of the bottom bell first stick that on first but just make sure you've got enough room for your other bell or your whatever shapes you've decided to put on sally's done well done sally super speedy yeah, and then you've I've got three little three red gems on mine to add a bit of an accent. So you can add three of your bling on there as well. And then that's card number one done. Let's have a look, Evelyn. Oh, you haven't oh, you put your bling on yet. Just some there, look. No, I find I find these gems are easier to peel off, pick off with my finger now, to be honest. But again, odd number of gems to just tie it all together. Well, you have to stop biting your fingernails then, won't you? There we go. Let's have a look. There's mine. There's Evelyn's. So let's write on there so we know as well. That's card one. Okay, how are people getting on? Needs a bow on the top of the bells. Oh, that might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. 
You put one on yours, Sally, and then we'll get to see. So that's card number one, so it must be time for a raffle prize. Go in the enormous sweet tin again. Let's have this one. 268 is our raffle prize. Number 268. Anybody got 268? I haven't, it looks cool. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Joe's done. Brilliant. So, raffle ticket 268. If you've got number 268, shout now. And your prize is going to be some beautiful metal. What's it called? Metallic. Ugh. metallic mesh ribbon that we used when we did the um uh simply elegant cards me 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 oh it's amber brilliant amber you've got some metallic mesh ribbon real that's cool brilliant okay oh it's so lovely when people are here to win their raffle prizes that's great shouting <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, that's card number one done. Let's put that to one side, shall we? Um, and let me know when you finish that card. Give me some thumbs up if you've finished and you're ready to move on. And if you are, we're going to do obviously one of the um, two memories and more cards next, which is going to be that one. So let me know with some thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, this is good. Just hang on and let them finish. Carol's all done. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Okay, so if you are, um, when you're ready to start, what you're looking for next is your memories and more card. Heather, do you want to have that one? So don't mix your yeah, that with mine. Yeah, a little bit of ribbon on there. Would look nice. That, that's the wrong colour, but if you oh, have yeah. red to go with your red. Yeah, you might have a bit left over, you never know. Yeah. Okay, so um, you'll need your memories and more card and your envelope. And you need some other shapes that you've cut out. So I've cut out two of the sort of, I um, don't even know what they are, snowflake biscuits and two little peppermint swirls as well. But you can choose whatever you like as well as some background paper. It's quite a busy card, so I would suggest you lay it all out and see how you want it to look if you're choosing different colours of papers and things. And then I will tell you how big a piece you need to cut in a moment. So first things first, you're folding and creasing your Memories and More card base down the spine. This Amber is still fussy cutting. Fantastic. That's okay. I can't believe why I never had one of these before. What a bone folder? Yeah. They're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. Anybody not got a bone folder, you need to get a bone folder. It's a fantastic it's a item. Lot easier to work. Yeah. It is. So you fold fold and crease you your um so card base and then you're gonna cut out first your background paper. So for me it's the red mm. peppermint swirls, but you can choose whatever one you want. And the size that you need is uh nine and a half centimeters by seven centimeters so card two is dsp is nine and a half centimeters a by yeah, by roughly seven centimeters and it doesn't matter if it's not exact because you've already got printed on the card this lovely frame that you're going to layer on top of so it doesn't matter if it's not an exact but you want a piece that's roughly nine and a half centimeters by seven centimeters okay let's get rid of the envelope for a minute And once you've cut that piece of background paper out, 
you can stick that in the middle of your frame on the card front. And I've stuck it flat. So glue, tape, seal, whatever. Oh, in inches, Sally, let me have a little measure. In inches, it'll be two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. Two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. Okay. And then I would suggest before you stick on any fussy cutting shapes, stamp your greeting if you want one. I've put mine at the bottom of the card, stamped straight onto the card. So top tip, open your card oh. out so that you don't get any bounce oh back God. from it when you stamp on it. So make your card base flat on your work surface um, so that when you go to stamp, the card doesn't bounce back at you, okay? I've chosen the season's greetings from the penguin suite. So I've used the this one, the little season's greetings from the penguin place suite. Um, but you can use anything you like, really, obviously. And I have stamped it in real red because real red is the red colour in the papers. And if you hate stamping directly onto the card, obviously you can stamp it on a bit of um, extra paper and then, um, yeah. you know, add it on as a layer if you want to. Either flat, stuck flat or um, 3D, completely up to you. Yeah, so once you've done your stamping, then you can add all your images randomly across the card and your bits of bling. Um, so I have stuck all of mine with 3D pads, all, all my, my little peppermints and my little biscuits, my cookies. They're all stuck using 3D pads. Real red equals Christmas red. It does, I agree. It is very Christmas red, isn't it? Yes, it's upside down on the end, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, the S's yeah. on the season's greetings, they look like they're upside down. They're all the same, so it obviously isn't upside yeah. down, but I agree, it does look like it's sort of the wrong way round. It's got a, a big bit at the top of the S and a small bit at the bottom of the S. Obviously done with intention, but um, yeah, it's bizarre, isn't it? so the only thing left to do is for you to fussy cut out your um whichever shapes you're going to use on this card and a couple of little peppermints or anything else you want to add on have you got any more fussy cutting over there that needs to go have you done it all wow you're good And with these papers, you should have quite a few left over at the end that you can then make extra cards with if you want to. Um, there should be plenty yeah, more left. It's all very quiet in craft land. Are you fussy cutting? Still fussy cutting. <laughs> <laughs> says Amber. <laughs> so I think in your packs you've also got um, a sheet of um, craft cardstock as well. Um, so you can use that for um, layers, for actual cards themselves, slim cards or tall cards are very in this year. Um, or you can use it for um, tags or whatever you want to really. 
sentiment so this one's Evelyn's well done so you can see how it makes um, the, the card bases and the papers make um, lots of cards quite quickly which also makes it nice and easy who's still got things left from their um their selection box as well or is that all gone what's that lunch what are you on Evelyn? Your last. She's yeah. on her cookies. I haven't even opened mine. Mum's been very restrained. <laughs> yeah, we to be fair, we have got a lot of cake here instead, but mum's been very yeah. restrained and hasn't eaten any of it. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock. Granddad has taken Alexander um out for the day so that he's out of our way, so he he wasn't making a load of noise in the background. Um, so they've gone to the um, Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway for the day. So that's cool. Carol has not touched her box as she's had a health scare. Oh no, and can't be naughty at the moment. Oh dear, Carol. Well, that is very restrained of you. Mm. I'm very impressed. Perhaps it'll have to be a present to somebody instead. Hopefully you've been able to have some other refreshments instead to keep you going. Chris would be jealous of Alexander. Oh, he's going again, Amber, as well. It's his birthday the week after next and him and his friend, who's also a bit train mad, um, uh, they're going again on the Saturday in a fortnight's time as well when it's the Steam Gala or something. I don't know, something like that. He's a bit Steam train mad, I have to say. He is. Bless him. Okay, so how are people getting on? How how are your cookies or whatever coming out? How's the fussy cutting going, Amber? Have you given up yet? Whoops. Oh, well, Mum's got a completely different background on her, so we'll wait till she's finished hers so I can slow show you. Amber says her fussy cutting's going slowly. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get into this whole thing, Amber, really. You need to just, you know. The bells were easy by comparison. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Joe's all done, fab. She's brilliant, brilliant. One. Yeah, Joe's a quick crafter too. Speedy Gonzalez there. We'll have another raffle prize in a minute. So if you're done, get your raffle tickets at the ready. I've got some more cool Christmas goodies. Get into it like getting into torture. <laughs> it's not that bad. Just have for, to relax into it and, uh, you know, enjoy the fussy cutting. Or buy every dye that there is in the, in the catalogue. <laughs> That's it, Evelyn's cookies are gone. I'll be interested to hear of any creative ways to use your empty selection boxes when you're finished as well. Carol's done, brilliant. Got no rush this afternoon, plenty of time just to get it all done in. Oops. Okay. okay, let's have a look. Thank you. Oh, fab, look at that. This one's mum's with green stripy background. Well, I really like that. I think it makes the cookies stand out a bit mm. more, actually. That's really good. 
really cool fab okay then um so while people are just finishing off let's put mine to one side we will have another raffle prize here we go so we have got this time we've got some metallic edged ribbon which is cherry cobbler and gold so it's the ribbon that you had in your lunchtime kit um, to go on your um, notebook. OK, so I've got a whole reel of that ribbon to give away. And it is number 279. Who's got 279? Oh, it's Evelyn again. Well, you've had one. I think we've put yours back in. Oh, our little face. She's constantly stealing my kit and she has already won and chose a prize, so she's giving me terrible looks. Right, here we go. Let's have a different one. Um, hi, Louise. Um, mine's striped too. Ah, so Sally's got striped paper. So I can't open this one. This raffle ticket. Ah, oh, come on. It just shows that you should have given it back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what it is? I can't open it because I should have given you the price. I'm pretty sure you'll still sink out of my cupboard. Anyway, 308. Who's got 308? Shank now if you're 308. Do you know what? It's black. Didn't she go 309? Do you know I can't remember now. Okay. Yeah, she did. Who's got 308? Yeah, I'll Might be. Might be. Kes has got two prizes, so that's all right. I think. Exactly. So why do you have two prizes? It is Joe. Brilliant. There we go. So striped ribbon on its way to you. Uh, striped gold edged ribbon on its way to you as well. Lovely for wrapping presents up in. Give it to someone else. Oh, that's very kind of you. Are you sure? That's very kind of you. All right, we'll pull another one then. Okay. Third time lucky. See if we can get as many people as possible to win this afternoon that would be really good so let's try again we've got 291 who's 291 not Kes no 291 who would like the cherry cobbler and gold edged ribbon Two ninety one. Me, Carol. Fab. Oh, thank you, Joe. She's saying, Carol, it's yours. Fab, fab. There we go. Stick. There we go. Ribbon is on its way to Truro. Fabulous. Right then. So, final project of the day is this one. So this is another one using your memories and more cards. Very similar kind of layout, but totally different card to the last one in that you've got a background paper, which is the same size. So actually cards two and three, the designer series paper is nine and a half by seven. I've used the hatched, I don't know, plaid almost, isn't it? That paper, um, but you can use whatever background you want. Um, and then I've cut out two mittens and we're going to do bunny ears bows which I will show you as well and I've also cut out a couple of little peppermints to do so first things first fold and crease your um, card base and then once you've done that you need to cut out your background paper and your background paper is nine and a half centimeters by seven centimeters or what was it two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches I think that's right wasn't it? it yeah nine and, uh, nine and a half centimeters by seven centimeters your background paper whichever pattern you fancy don't forget all your papers are double-sided as well so if you've only looked at one side of the papers flip them over and see if you fancy a pattern on the other side once you've cut that piece out it goes flat down onto your card Nine and a half by seven centimetres. Anyone who's won prizes, I've also got coffee club um, envelopes to send out to people as well. So I will do my very best to get everything in the post to you on Monday. 
Um, I've written the instructions now for Coffee Club, so um, they should be able to go out um, with the people who have posted instructions as well, and everybody else will get them um, like normal via email, for those of you who are joining me on the Zoom. Um, but yeah, so hopefully all prizes and packs and everything will go out on Monday. So you're also going to need um, to fussy cut out your mittens if you're if you're putting mittens on this card and a couple of little peppermints if you can as well. And you'll need to stamp a sentiment for the middle as well. Again, because you've got your um, your embellishments, which are your little mittens, on off to one side, you can afford to have quite a big sentiment in the middle. So we've used the Merry Christmas from the Snowman set. Um, snowman season, as I was showing you before, one of the ones that I think is probably going to retire at the end of this year because we've had it in the catalogue for such a long time, I can't imagine it's going to stay much longer. So I've just um, stamped my sentiment on some of the craft cardstock that's in your kit and then um, put it flat onto the card. But you can stamp it on white. You could punch it out. You could um, cut around the letter in, whatever you want to do. Your choice. That's, that's why I've done all mine, yeah. I used, uh, I used black on mine, which is there if you want black. Yeah. To make it stand out, but that should that should work. Yeah. So Evelyn's using um, the uh, cinnamon cider ink on top of the craft card stock. So I'll be interested to see how that comes out in a moment, um, and it'll give like a watermark type of effect rather than a yeah, um, rather than such a, a bold effect as my card's got. So that'll be interesting to see. Why are you crying, Amber? Is that because you've got to do some more fussy oh, cutting? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sorry. So you need your background paper stuck inside your frame on the front of your card. And then if you've done that bit and stamped your sentiment, your sentiment goes in the middle goes in the middle of that patterned paper and then you're going to embellish around the edges of it. Let's have a look. So this is Evelyn's sentiment. So this is um, craft cardstock with um, cinnamon cider um, stamping ink on it. Looks really good, doesn't it? Actually, I wish I'd done mine like that. Looks, it ties in. I think it ties in better. Maybe I'll just stick it over the top of. Oh, okay. Not, not up for that. Not up for sharing. I don't understand that myself, but never mind. Maybe if I make some more of these, I'll change my lettering. So I, I prefer yours. Actually, I think it's nicer. I've stuck my sentiment flat because I wanted my um, mittens and my peppermints to be 3D and raised. So they are raised, but my uh, sentiment is flat. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Just a bit more, tip it a bit more. Do I stick it down then put them down the thing Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, so if you've fussy cut out your mittens, um, we'll do the bows very, very last of all. So um, add on, you can 3D pad, add on your mittens and your peppermints or whatever other images you're putting on there. So you can add those on. The great thing about these little peppermints as well is you. I found that I had sort of odd corners of, you know, little scraps of paper left, but they'd have a peppermint in the corner. So they're really easy to um, cut out lots of. And they're and because they're only a circle, they're easy to cut as well. You can just go kind of round in one scissor motion, really. 
the, the mittens as well, I don't know if you can see that if I pull the bow down, the mittens are overlapping so that, um, again, it sort of ties the image of the card together. So it's a, a great top tip, actually, that um, I learned from uh, one of the demonstrators that um, makes really beautiful cards. Is The best way to tie all the elements of a card together is to have them touching each other. So you know how sometimes, and I do this all the time, you make, you have an idea in your head, you, you get all the bits out, all the elements out, and then you line it up all over your card and you think, actually, there's something about this. It doesn't hang together properly. It doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to. The best way to try and pull everything together in a card is to make whatever's in the centre touch the elements that are around the edge, especially if they're big things like the mittens, because that brings it all together and pulls it together artistically so that's a really good tip yeah. um and then if you if you want to have um more bling you can scatter bling and it doesn't matter there where you put it because your central focus is all those tied together elements and it doesn't have to touch by very much it just needs to touch enough so that it's pulled into that central image okay so this is evelyn's so far oh, and i'm going to show you moment. how to do um the ribbon in a moment how to do the bunny ears for anybody who's struggles with bunny ears or can't remember how to do bunny ears or whatever what, what we need is andrea's daughter lily rose because lily rose can do bunny ears bows really oh. quick and really easy so Andrea gets her to do loads all in one go when she's card making, oh, <laughs> which is a brilliant plan. <laughs> we all need a Lily Rose, I think. <laughs> so I will hang on for doing bunny ears bows until everybody's ready. Um, so that we can kind of do it all together. So when you're at the point that you're ready to do your ribbons, your bows, give me some thumbs up. No rush, but I don't want to start until everybody is ready. What's the bell you can hear? I don't know, it's not here. Is it? No, no bells here. Oh, it could be this. Oh, is it, this? Is it my scissors? Evelyn was oh, fiddling gosh, with my scissors, is it? Here, is it that? I don't know, it might have been that. It's my charm on my scissors. I don't like doing that either. That one of my demonstrator friends made me. So it might possibly be that, I don't know. Some thumbs up. We'll wait till at least the majority of people are ready. Sounds like a cat that visits us. Yes, it is your charm. Oh, okay. I keep looking up to see if I can see the cat. Oh, I see. Sorry. No, it's Evelyn fiddling with my scissor charm. <laughs> Do we stick there? Stick those on before the bows. Yeah, are. so so everything needs to be stuck on the card before you do the bows. So your peppermints, your sentiment, and your um mm -hmm. your stamped images as well. That all needs to be on the card before we move on to adding um the bows. 
And on mine and Evelyn's, we've got the um, mittens and the peppermints are the bits that are on 3D pads. Everything else is flat down on the card. So give us some thumbs up when you've got everything stuck to your card and you're ready to do some ribbon. Let's see one. I'll do it the wrong way around. I don't want an extra. Bother. Let's see one. mittens on the wrong way thumb, around for what yeah, she I wanted can, it to you be. You can only see <laughs> one thumb if I do it that way. If I do it that way, now I've stuck that in the wrong way because I was going to do it like that. Oh, it won't work. <laughs> She's talking to herself, thank you. Won't see the bows on, you won't see the difference. Okay. Everybody ready to do bunny ears oh yeah lots of thumbs up right let's get our cards out of the way to start with so the first thing you need to do is cut your ribbon in half so that you've got the whole piece of ribbon to use for each bow so cut your ribbon in half so that you've got two pieces okay that's the first thing then you're going to make two bunny ears so let's put them like that so two two rabbit ears you're literally just folding the ribbon over and holding it at the base of your two rabbit ears okay then you cross one rabbit ear over the other rabbit ear and the loop the loop from the one on the top goes around the back and through the hole That's a bit delicate. I will Fingers and thumbs. do it again in a minute I promise so just through the hole and once you've got it through the hole oh, this time. <laughs> you pull it there we go and that the point of doing a bunny ears bow is so it gives you a flat ribbon bow so you then hold the center of the bow and tweak it so you make it how you want it to be whether you want your ears to be longer or shorter or whatever but if you hold the center of the bow really tight and then pull pull about with your ribbons you get a lovely flat bow which is what you want for sticking on the front of a card so there's one Evelyn stick it to the card and then cut the ends off would be my advice as well so my my ends are cut at a slight angle so let's do it again so you've got you've got half your piece of ribbon you make one bunny ear, two bunny ears, cross one over the other, and then the, the loop, the ear from the one on top goes around the back and through the hole. Around the back and through the hole. Can I get it through the hole? Fingers and thumbs doing this one. Can't do it on camera, that's the trouble. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, and then the pull it. I've had a trouble doing it, and this time it worked first time. Oh, good. That's good then. <laughs> so and then, and then just pull your ear out, you know, so it's how you want it. But when you're tweaking it and pulling it make sure you keep hold of the center of the bow so that you don't lose it so pull it how you want it to and then keep hold of the middle while you're kind of fiddling about with it and getting the ears the length you want them to be and all that stuff 
and the shape and everything. There we go. And that will give you a flat, a bow that lies with its ears flat on the ground there. Is that okay, Carolyn? Was that okay doing it a second time? If you really struggle with bunny ears bows, there's a brilliant diagram on my Pinterest page, on the Papercraft with Jenny Pinterest page. Um, there is um, a, a how to, like a step by step how to do a bunny ears bow. I'm going to draw it out for you so you can see. So you've got your piece of ribbon, and what you do is you make one loop and another loop, okay. So you've got your two bunny ears, so then your ribbon looks like this. Yeah. And then you cross them over, so you've got um, your Which one bunny ear awesome. will be coming up like this. that. This. And your other bunny oh, ear will be coming up like that. So you cross them over, and what you get is a loop at the bottom here where the ribbon all joins together. So the one that's on the top, the loop that's on the top goes round the back, underneath, and through the hole. Okay? And that's how you then come up with your bow. There you go, Evelyn. Um, bows are really good to be stuck on with glue dots. If you've got any glue dots, that works really well for sticking bows on. Or um, a dob of wet glue but let it go tacky before you stick the ribbon on you do need eight hands i agree <laughs> once you get the hang of it they're really easy to do and you can just do them again and again and again um sheer ribbon is slightly harder because it's a bit more slidey and slippery but it does produce a lovely flat bow so it's worth fiddling about with i think to get it get it right really it's worth faffing around to, to get it nice and flat and get it right. And then you just stick them on the top of your mittens. So let's then bring in the rest of our cards from this session. So you've got that one, got that one. And um, we've got that one that we did first of all. And those are our three cards for this afternoon. So that is all, those are Evelyn's. Evelyn's are, see this is cool, look Evelyn's have got her mittens going the opposite way up the card. So she's got her bows at the bottom. I think that looks really cute actually. I like yours better than mine. Can I swap? No. No, okay. <laughs> I There's Evelyn's really mitten nice. ones. Um, if you want to add a couple of bits of bling, you can, you don't have to. Completely up to you, really. <laughs> so we'll wait for Mum to finish hers, and so I can show you hers as well. And then we will um, have our final raffle prize for the afternoon. A little bit of kind of summing up, and then. We'll be done. Aww. Who reckons that next year when we do the Christmas extravaganza all day, we might be able to get back to Buscot Hall again and do it all together yes, in person? Definitely. What do you reckon? Who reckons that might be possible? Or do you reckon we'll still be doing it all virtually? <laughs> Who it knows? Depends. Yeah. Who knows? Whatever happens, for those of you who don't live near me, um, I'm still going to be doing online offerings as well. So don't don't fear. Even if we do get back to some form of face to face, we won't be. I'm not going to give up on online altogether. Sally says yes, yes, yes. I know you like crafting in person, don't you? Too. I guess all doing it together. It's been lovely having my helpers here, I have to say, someone to chat to and, and uh, it's always great to see other people's ideas. Oh, Carol says few. Don't worry, Carol, I'm not, not leaving you in the lurch. It's all right. We'll still be crafting online as well. Ask her if the 
lovely lemon market is still open in Truro. Did you hear that, Carol? <laughs> Mum wants to know, is the lemon market in Truro still open? Because we're going in December. Oh, Mum's coming down in December, so she wants to know if the lemon market's open, so she can visit. It's where we're I don't know what up. she's talking about, but there you go, I'm sure you'll know. nice, nice food. You could go to one of Carol's workshops while you're down there. She does workshops. Sure in, what's it called? Does. The old cheese shop, isn't it? Which is a cafe. Okay. There you go. There we go. That's Mum's. That's cute, isn't it? See, they're all quite different, but all exactly the same. How bizarre is that? Yes, it is, Carol says. That's good. That's good. <laughs> She'll be visiting. That's great. There we go. So that's all our cards from this afternoon. Um, let's... Pull the camera back up again, I think. Hold on a moment. There we go. Let's just shift back a bit. Okay. Okay, so I really hope that you've um, enjoyed this afternoon. And for those of you who've been with me all day, I really hope you've has, had a good day Christmas crafting as well. I've got one more raffle prize to give out. I'm going to end on a high note. We've got a bumper prize to give out now for our final prize. It's one of the um, crafting with the stamps, with the inks um, uh, kits. It's no matter the weather card kit. So it's got, it's the one with the little welly boots and the um, umbrellas and all the rainbow colours and everything. So something really nice and happy to end on, really. Um, but we're doing it face to face because I'm not used to using other people's kit. Yeah, it will, it will. And, you know, we, we might need to, I don't know, come get around that somehow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll think of think of a plan don't worry yes old cheese shop is where carol does her oh, workshops right. yummy cakes she's saying oh, okay well, we might visit, huh? she might be visiting you i'll let her know if you're running her coffee and cards while she's down there don't worry anyway right so um let's pull a raffle ticket for no matter the weather card kit um here we go final ones in here got loads let's get one from the edge it is number, 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 278. Yay. Who's got... Oh, it's Evelyn again. <laughs> Forget that. She's not having See, that one. See, fate wants me to no, have a No, fate prize. does not want you to have yet more Fate kit. does. Right, let's have another one. It's because she's missed so many um, workshops, you see, with swimming. So exactly. how about 311? Anybody up for 311? Oh, no, I don't think 311? 311, 311. I know this is backwards, but trust me, it's 311. 309 was just. If you've got 311, let me know. <laughs> and you will be getting, no matter the weather, in the post or wherever. But 311. It's Elaine! Yay! Oh, fantastic. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. And um, I really hope you've enjoyed crafting with us, Elaine. Um, so I know it's your first time coming to one of my workshops, so I hope you've had a good time. I hope Carolyn has kept you well supplied with coffee and tea and whatnot. There we go. It's yours. I will give it to Carolyn um, and she can pass it on to you. It's got stamps, ink, bling, glue. It's got absolutely everything in there you need to make eight cards. Oh, that's good. Brilliant. I'm so glad you've had a good time. Um, yeah, all you need is scissors to open the box. That's it, literally. So there you go. So that's all my prizes gone um, from the mountain we had this morning. They've all gone. So what's going to happen now? OK, um, two things are going to happen now. Um, I am going to put a post on after this with um, photos of, of what we've made here. Pam's really enjoyed it. Good. Thank you. Um, and I would love it if you would post photos of your projects underneath. That would be fantastic. If you'd like to share what you've made, um, then everybody has such a different take on the projects. And even just using different sentiment stamp sets and things like that, it makes all the difference. So please share your photos of your makes. That would be amazing oh. if you are happy to do that. That'd be great. <laughs> um, if there's any products and things that you've um, seen today that you think, actually, I can't carry on with my own Christmas crafting without those, um, most of what we've used today has come from the mini catalogue, um, which you can access online via my uh, website or the link, the shop link in the Facebook page or um, through all my email links and stuff. Underneath my signature block at the bottom, there's a link to the shop and the catalogues and stuff there. 
do feel free. If you're going to be shopping with me, can I please ask that you place your order before tomorrow evening? Um, because um, I am doing my raffle prize pool draw for October orders tomorrow evening. I know it's not the end of October, um, but I'm going away next week, so I want to get it done before I go away. Um, everybody who places an order with me um, goes into the, the prize draw, and I'll pull out um, a winner, um, and you will get more, another prize. Um, for entering the, the, the uh, order draw. Um, we'll also be pulling the um, draw for people who post photos of their makes as well. I'll combine anyone who posts from today and people who posted from Thursday's card club as well. So if you post a photo of your pictures, of your makes, then you'll go into another draw for that as well. So that'll be two opportunities to win more prizes. And if you place an order with me, please use the October host code um, link. If you do that, then um, you'll get an extra gift in the post from me as well. So basically gifts all round at the moment. Um, and the gift that I send you will more than cover your postage. So, um, yeah, cool. Hopefully that will make everybody happy. So that's brilliant. Um, don't forget that November Card Club is open for booking at the moment. Um, that closes on Friday, I think I'm right in saying. Yeah, Friday. Um, and it's going to be all Christmas for November. Coffee club is Christmas, card club is Christmas, full on Christmas in November. Um, so if you've enjoyed today, then do join me for monthly card club, which will be at the end of November. Um, yeah, and also don't forget to go back through the Facebook page when you've got time to look at Amber's projects that she posted and Evelyn's penguins that she posted as well, because I'm sure you'll find more inspiration there as well. Okay, so that's it, folks. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, and if you're watching on repeat, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Um, despite not being live, hopefully you've, you've had a fun and creative time. Uh, CR, thank you. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Carolyn. Really appreciate what you're saying. It's lovely. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all again soon.